Welcome to a new video which is about solving limit questions with absolute value functions. I will show you a general strategy to solve such questions besides solving remarkable questions. If this is your first time here and if you want to support this channel, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be aware of the upcoming videos. We have a lot to cover so let's get started. Okay, we have a strategy here and it says if the number that the limit is found is a critical point, critical point means the number that which makes the inside of the absolute value zero. For example, here, if we look at our first example here, the critical point is x is equal to three, right? Because three makes the inside of the absolute value zero. Anyway, if this is the case, and then we have to look at the left limit and the right limit to investigate the situation. Otherwise, if the number is not a critical point, then there is no need to look at left limit or the right limit. We just evaluate the limit as we evaluate the function. And let's take a look at our first example that we have here. It says find the limit at the point x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, and x is equal to 4. And as you can see, x is equal to 3 is a critical point because it makes the inside of the absolute value zero. So let's take a look at this situation as a last case. And let's take a look at the cases when x is equal to 2 and when x is equal to 4, what is the limit of this function? So let me write it here. Limit when x goes to 2, absolute value of x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. And that is equal to guys. I'll make it very short. Just put 2 instead of x in the absolute value. And once we do it, okay, it's going to be 2 minus 3 in the absolute value divided by 2 minus 3. So it's going to be in the absolute value negative 1 divided by negative 1. In the absolute value of negative 1, it comes out as positive 1. So 1 divided by negative 1, and the result is negative 1, guys. It's that simple. Let's take a look at the next case. Limit when x goes to positive 4. The absolute value of x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. And that is equal to, guys. Just put 4 instead of x and that's it. So in the absolute value, 4 minus 3 is 1. Divided by 4 minus 3 is 1. It's going to be 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So as you can see, the limit is 1. And let's take a look at the last case. Limit when x goes to 3. And the absolute value x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. Here we have to look at the limit from the left and from the right. Let's look at the limit from the right. Okay. When x approaches the 3 from the right side. That means the number is a little bit bigger than 3. So in this case the inside of the absolute value is plus. So just the term comes out as it is. So it's going to be x minus 3 and now we get to of the absolute value symbol divided by x minus 3. These are gone so the result is 1 in this case. But once x approaches to 3 from the left absolute value of x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 is guys. Once x approaches to 2 from the left it means just put 2.99 something closer to 3 instead of x but in this case the inside of the absolute value is going to be negative. So it's going to be negative to make it positive. You have to put negative in front of it. x minus 3 divided by x minus 3. These are gone. So the leftover is negative 1. That means now when x goes to 3 from the right, we have 1. When x goes to 3 from the left, we have negative 1. Because left limit is not equal to the right limit. Okay. So that means... When x goes to 3, this limit doesn't exist. So there is no limit in this case. And let's take a look at our next example. The next example is when x goes to 0, find the limit of in the absolute value x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 2. We can solve this question into two ways. I'll show you the first way, which is the longer way first. And then I will show you the shorter way as a second. Because this 0 is not a critical point in our function then we, we can just evaluate it as it is. Just put 0 instead of x and that's all what we're going to do. Actually, let me, let me start from the shorter way first. So once you put this 0 instead of x, then what we're going to have is the absolute value 0 minus 4 divided by 0 minus 2. 
so it's going to be positive 4 divided by negative 2 and the result is negative 2 it's that simple guys but I just want to show you a second way to help you to solve some undefined conditions so it's better to know this way as well limit when x goes to 0 and the absolute value x squared minus 4 can be written as guys in the absolute value x minus 2 times x plus 2 in the absolute value divided by x minus 2 guys if you remember the properties of absolute value we can write this absolute value as following and now if you put 0 instead of x let's see what we're gonna have the inside of the second term in the absolute value this is plus the inside of the first term in the absolute value this is negative guys and in order to make it positive we just put negative in front of this term so it's gonna be negative x minus 2 times this is over the positive x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 let me put here also limit when x goes to 0 guys so these are gone and then put just zero instead of x so it's going to be negative 0 plus 2 so it's negative 2 as you can see we got the same result but in the second way you can develop your capabilities let's take a look at the next question okay guys this is the new question and it says when x goes to negative 1 the absolute value of x squared minus 1 divided by x plus 1 what is the limit of this we need to find a way to get rid of that undefined condition why because if you put negative 1 instead of x here we're gonna have the absolute value is 0 right divided by the denominator is gonna be 0 so it's gonna be 0 divided by 0 which is an undefined condition so by the way I will make a separate video about that 0 divided by 0 undefined condition but let's just concentrate on this question here in such questions guys always the best way is and I can say maybe in 99% of the situations just try to simplify the given expression let me write the question again in the following step by the way let me show you one more thing here because negative 1 is a critical point because it makes the inside of the absolute value 0 okay so we will look at the limits from the left side and from the right side but let me factor the given expression in the following line limit when x goes to negative 1 x squared minus 1 can be written as x minus 1 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 guys and now we will take a look at the limit from the left and from the right so let me write the first case here the second case here in the first case we will take a look at limit when x goes to negative 1 from right side okay and that is equal to in the second case we will take a look at the situation limit when x goes to negative 1 from the left at this time and now let's take a look at the first case here negative 1 from the right side means okay just approach negative 1 from the right so just take a little bit bigger value bigger than negative 1 like negative 0 0.9 for example and once you put that value instead of x here we're gonna have negative here we're gonna have positive to make the function positive in the first term here we will multiply this term by a negative so it's gonna be limit when x goes to negative 1 from the right just put negative in front of it and then get rid of the absolute value sign so it's going to be negative x minus 1 times this is all the positive so just put it there as it is x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 guys and now there is no absolute value sign that means we can simplify the expression just cross out these so this is left over and then put just negative 1 instead of x that's all we're gonna do so it's going to be negative negative 1 minus 1 and that is going to be guys negative negative 2 so it's going to be positive 2 so when x goes to negative 1 from the right we get positive 2 when x goes to negative 1 from the left so in this case take a value like negative 1.01 .01. in this case this is already negative okay this is also negative so in order to make them positive I have to multiply both cases by a negative so let me write it here limit when x goes to negative 1 from the left negative x minus 1 times negative x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 now just these terms are gone 
negative times negative is going to be positive. So it's going to be a positive instead of x and now put negative 1. Okay, negative 1, negative 1. So it's going to be negative 2, guys. As a result, when x goes to negative 1 from the left, the limit is negative 2. When x goes to negative 1 from the right, the limit is positive 2. Because left limit is not equal to the right limit, in this case, there is no limit in this question, guys. No limit in this question. Okay, guys, this is our last question in this video. And we have a nice example. It says, limit when x goes to zero from the left. x divided by x minus in the absolute value of x plus limit when x goes to zero from the right and the absolute value x divided by x. Here, guys, because we are just approaching the limit from left or from the right, even though we have a critical point which makes the inside of the absolute value zero because x is going to zero, we don't have to look at the left limit and the right limit. Why? Because it's specifically, it's saying us that we should approach zero from the left or from the right. It's specifically saying us this. But if it would be like when x goes to zero and then we were gonna look at limit from the left and from the right but here in this case there is no need to do that so just put zero instead of x and let's see what's gonna happen because we are approaching zero from the left here the inside of the absolute value is negative in order to make it positive we're gonna put a negative in front of it so it's gonna be something like this limit when x goes to zero from the left x divided by x minus negative x and just get rid of the absolute value sign plus here because x is going zero from the right so just think it as like you know 0 0.01 so the value is positive but just put it here but there is a negative in front of it so the inside of the absolute value is negative right now in order to make it positive i will also put a, an extra negative in front of this statement so it's going to be limit when x goes to zero from the right negative negative x divided by x guys and that is equal to so we're gonna have x divided by here negative negative is gonna be positive so it's gonna be 2x plus here negative negative is gonna be positive so it's gonna be x divided by x x's are gone x's are gone so it's gonna be 1 divided by 2 plus 1 1 times 2 is 2 so it's gonna be 1 plus 2 divided by 2 which is 3 over 2 guys and that is the result and that's it for this video guys i hope you like it if you have any question you can put them in the comment section below thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the upcoming videos